Hello again, everybody. This is Will Katie with Source Audio presenting to you the Soundblocks Pro bass envelope filter. This is the natural evolution off of the Soundblocks bass envelope filter that has been so popular with many of you out there in internet land. Now what this has is of course the Pro Series interface. It gives you six savable, customizable presets, a graphic EQ to tweak that signal, and then a whole host of other things. Now we're gonna get into everything that this pedal does later in the demo, but first we're just gonna take you as quickly as possible to the sounds that this thing can make. So the first thing we're gonna focus on are some of the new things that this pedal can do on top of the bass envelope filter. Now we're gonna have a little video right down here that you can take a look at if you wanna check out all the envelope filter sounds that this pedal has because it's the same thing that you had in the last one. So just click right there if you wanna to go to it. If you wanna keep going towards the new stuff, just keep on watching. First, I'm gonna do something that you couldn't do with the last bass envelope filter and that's to use it like a standard wah-wah pedal, just by plugging an expression pedal into the back. Now for this, I'm gonna use the new envelope filter effect that we added to this, effect number 00, zero that you can't get on the last version. <laughs> One of the most substantial additions to this pedal is LFO. And if you're just a little bit clever, you can realize that you can take the phaser sounds available in the bass envelope filter and get yourself a phaser pedal just by using a slow LFO. So that's what I did in this next clip. Like all the other Source Audio pedals, the Bass Envelope Filter Pro works with a hot hand. And I've used this in tandem with the multi-wave bass distortion to get a dubstep wobble sound. You know, that wah 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 that everybody really loves. Now we've actually found that Source Audio effects have been really good for people who are trying to play some dubstep. Make sure to check out some of our stuff on the MIDI EXP for how you can get some pitch shifts or other strange noises using the hot hand. This next batch of clips is going to zoom in on what outrageous things you can do with the LFO part of this Bass Envelope Filter Pro. Now if you look closely at the front panel, you can see that you have a variety of waveforms to choose from. Got everything you need. You have your standard sine wave, a rectified sine wave, sawtooth if you want it, some step waves, and random, and other sequencers, and then at the very top, a user input. Connect this with your computer and decide what kind of wave shapes you want this pedal to be playing for you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Face, we can see that this thing has an insane amount of features to choose from. Now building off of what the last base envelope filter had, we have the obvious Pro Series editions, the six savable presets available in two preset banks, as well as the graphic EQ which can be applied to the final mix. Now also, to the right of the graphic EQ, you have your modulation source option where you can choose from envelope, LFO or hot hand at the press of a button. Right below that is something interesting. This is the tap tempo enable, which turns the rightmost foot switch into a tap tempo for the LFO. Another key addition to the Bass Envelope Filter Pro is the wet dry mix knob. And this is split into two regions. To the right, you have your standard dry to wet mix. 12 o'clock is all the way dry, going clockwise, all the way wet. To the left of the 12 o'clock position is our signature low retain mixing algorithm that maintains the bottom end of your signal while bringing in that wet. In hot hand mode on the Bass Envelope Filter Pro, we have a dual axis speed knob. It goes from slowest to fastest on the left for the Y axis of the hot hand and slowest to fastest to the right for the X axis. Just like you had in the standard Bass Envelope Filter, the sweep range knob is split into two regions. To the right, you go from minimum to maximum positive filter sweeps. And to the left, minimum to maximum negative filter sweeps. A lot of the amazing things that this pedal can do are accessible in the back page menu. The back page menu is very easy to access. What you do to get there is press both the modulation source and tap tempo knob at the same time. The graphic EQ will switch over to a different menu. In this menu, you can choose your LFO waveform shape. You can change your cue sensitivity. The standard sound sounds like this. Cranking it all the way sounds like this. And turning it down all the way sounds like this. In the back page, you can also choose the destination of an expression pedal plugged into the back of the BEF Pro. You have 13 different choices of what you want to do here, ranging from modulation, which you saw in the very first clip in this video that had me using the Bass Envelope Filter as a standard wah-wah pedal. 
but you can also send the expression pedal to control the speed of an LFO, the sweep range of an envelope, the wet-dry mix, the frequency range of an entire filter sweep, even control the effect that you're choosing on the effect selector. The Soundblocks Pro Bass Envelope Filter packs a ridiculous amount of swagger. It's pretty difficult to squeeze everything this pedal can do into one demo video. So what we decided to do was just plug this pedal in, get rowdy with it, and make a song. So we're going to show you everything you can do just by playing with the damn thing. <laughs> Where is all my seed? Where is all my seed? Where is all my seed?